YouTube, it is Dion back again. So yes, I am coming back to YouTube. Um, <laughs> it's been a long time. Um, I can be a little scattered, so just bear with me, forgive me. But then you'll grow to love my character. I'm t this time, I'm just going to go really quickly the facial products that I use and what's on my face. A lot of days, this is the face I do. I don't do eyeshadow. Sometimes I don't do my brows. Then there's times that I do, and I will post videos of those. Not necessarily t tutorials because so many people are so much better than I am. So if I do a look that I really like, I'll post and just be like, this is what's on my face. This is what's here. This is what's there. And if you would like to see a tutorial, let me know, then I will backtrack and do a tutorial. But what I've washed my face with today is the Bashia Detoxifying Black Cleanser. I can only use this once a day. I do wash my face twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. When I was using this twice a day, it broke my face out. So I use this usually at night. And in the morning, um, I'll use Cetaphil Soap or the St. Ives Oatmeal Scrub and Mask Cleanser. I do have sensitive skin. Uh, so when I try new new things, I was going to say new stuff, things, stuff, what's the difference? Um, I try one new product at a time, so if my face does break out, I will know what caused it. And so this I just use once a day, and my face loves it for that. Under my eyes, I use the Bashia Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel. This works wonders for under my eyes. As you see, I have bags. This I call my forever bag. No matter what I do, it is always there. And it's like two of them. It's like matching luggage. Um, I, I noticed the first morning after I used this, my bags were less noticeable. And so what I realized is, is that this really does hydrate under my eyes, which means it's filling in the sunken areas, which then makes it look like you have bags. But <laughs> when I was using this all over my face, my face broke out is the weirdest thing. So I do continue to use it under my eyes and I do use it twice a day. And I have not had any problems with that. I am a fan of Olay products. Um, I use the Olay Regenerous Regenerating Serum. I use this all over my face. It came in a three pack at BJ's, two full size and a travel size. This is the travel size. This I put all over my face, very hydrating. My skin loves it and also it's fragrance free. I am also sensitive to fragrance, among other things. And I used the Olay Regenerous, I forget what it's called because it rubbed off because I had it so long, it's almost empty. <laughs> this is a daytime moisturizer and it has SPF 30. And so I do use this every day when I'm going outside. And a recent thing that I've tried was the Bashia. I cannot pronounce the first word. I will put all the information down below. Their beauty oil. This says only use it once a day. So I only use it in the morning after I wash and put all those other products that I just showed you on. And it really does a good job of hydrating my skin. And I have not had any problems using this product. So those are the basics of what I use in the morning when I wash my face. And today I did foundation. I don't have the primer with me. It's in my restroom. I used the Makeup Forever primer, the one in the yellow tube, and I believe it's for brightening. I put that on, and I am again trying the Fenty. I got a sample because when I used it before, it broke me out. But that was before I was using this <laughs> and this on top of the other moisturizer <laughs> and serum. So I wanted to try it again to see if my skin was in a better place to use this. And so this is the number 330, um, which... It went on a tad bit red. However, if I use a little and blend it out, then it doesn't look that bad. And I also have a sample of the concealer in 330. For concealer, I just place it here. Oh, here you can see it really good. I just place it here in the hollows. If I place concealer all over, it creases horribly because I have bags and I have wrinkles. And so I just place it here and then I blend it out. I set my face today with the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Powder. This came in BoxyCharm a couple months ago. I like the powder, except I don't like the fragrance. I like that the well is deep enough where it fits the puff, and I do like the puff because then I can place the powder exactly where I want it. So even if I do not keep the powder, I'll dump it, place another powder in it, put the sifter back on, put the puff back in, which I do use, and I will do that. I highlighted my cheeks with the Pretty Vulgar Shimmering Swan Highlighter. This also came in a BoxyCharm box one month. Am I spilling stuff? Um, I like the effect, but I'm not sure about the color. 
I think it may be a little too peachy for me. I do have a NARS highlighter that I do like, and most days I don't because it just seems to accentuate my under eye discoloration when I put a really bright highlight there. I don't go for the disco ball effect. I'm 49 years old. I don't need to do all that. For me, less is more. Um, but I'm, I'm still using it to see if I'm going to keep it or not. As a blush, I use my Narcissist Wanted 2 palette. And I used this shade down here. For bronzer, this came in a set with a, with a highlighter. This is the NARS Laguna, which I do actually love. More so when I'm slightly tanned or full tanned. Otherwise, it's a little too dark for me. And I do have a full size in this. And that I have here on my face. The only other thing... I was about to lie to you. I set my face today with the Fix It or Forget It from Lancome. I'm iffy about setting sprays because they don't seem to help the longevity of my makeup. I do sweat a lot in the summer. And it's like whatever I do when I sweat, it's going to break down. It's going to slide off. Um, but I do find that some setting sprays, if I am sweating, I spray it. It does refresh it and it just sets everything back in where it doesn't look like beads of sweat. And I don't look really oily or shiny. And so I use this one today, which I do like mm, as long as I don't sweat because then uh, uh. the only setting spray I absolutely hate is the Urban Decay people love it the all-nighter spray I am an oil slick within two hours I don't know what it is about that spray people swear by it my skin is like no so that one I don't use at all and I purchased it I gave it away to someone who loved it which was awesome I love to give stuff away and give it a happy home speaking of giveaways I will have some I have um, products from BoxyCharm that I haven't used, and also when things go on sale, I used to buy extra stuff, and so I have a, <laughs> quite a few things that are unused um, that I will be giving away. So subscribe, because I think I'm going to do giveaways where my current subscribers are automatically entered into the giveaway um, instead of listing con contest video, because then people will subscribe, don't win, and unsubscribe. So I want people to really watch me if they're interested in me, and if not, then that's okay too. The only other thing on my face is one of the Fenty um, Mademoiselle. Is this a Mademoiselle? I don't know. I think those are the teeny tiny ones, which I have, which I like. This came in a three set. I will put the information of what it is in the description bar. I like the narrow lipsticks because for my bottom lip, I can go all the way into the corner without having to clean up under here with the Q-tip. The top lip, it doesn't really matter because it's angled. But for some reason with my bottom lip, I have such a hard time getting in the corners. But with this, this shape, this size, I can just do what I just did and not have to worry about cleaning up afterwards because it goes where I want it to go. You see the highlight? I know you do. I like it. So that's everything on my face. Thank you for watching. And you will see me in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if there is anything particular you want to see or hear about, let me know. There are a lot of interesting things going on in my life. Some people won't want to know. Some people will be intrigued. So just stay tuned and read the information and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.